mental imagery actually never really stops. When you're when you get to a river, a new river like a race course, say here in Augsburg, where you, where you have some very clear basic skills you need to know. Really, when I arrive on Monday, or even before, I started going through the idea of the types of te technique and paddling methods that I'm going to have to employ to be successful out there. And and through the whole week, you just keep rehearsing those mental images in your mind and those feelings in your mind so that they're not a surprise when you get out on the water. I have the, the psychologist and uh, we work at, uh, a lot uh, for uh, imaging uh, myself in my mind and uh, especially before the competition to create uh, one uh, image of uh, what I want to do in a, in a race. A competition. So when I walk the course, I, um, I visualize the course, every, every part of the course, and I do it until I feel that everything flows naturally. Not When I feel that in my head it's not going or it comes to a stop or I'm doing something that I don't want to do, I just rewind and do it again. I like to do my mental imaging before the race on the day before the race. That is a good thing when you go through the course and then maybe it takes uh, 45 minutes to go through the course and when you lie in bed in the evening before the in the evening before the race takes place then I'll be in my helicopter perspective again and then I say okay I'll do it like this. Sometimes I choose to not actually prepare any of the course until the morning if I'm off later in the morning and I've got plenty of time to do it I find that uh, helps me get an, an easy sleep and just don't overthink about things uh, we do a lot of video analysis to decide on, on what to do on the course from both the demonstration runners and maybe the other classes that have been off the day before. Actually, you do it all the time because if you see a gate or so, you just see yourself doing this move or whatever. So, but at the race day, I start focusing the night before, just walk the course like step by step, just a couple of gates. Then at bedtime, maybe I uh, see myself telling the course at once. But I found out it's not good to think too much on it as well. So it makes you tired right before I jump on the, in the boat again before the race. I do a full run course mentally again. And the rest of the time just go walk down the course and see just small parts, main keys, and try to see myself in different views. So like paddling myself or see myself from outside as well. But always keep in mind it will be different when you're there. So. Likelihood is you've done the move in some shape or form on that course in the past, and uh, I think buried somewhere in your subconscious it's there, and it's just waiting to come out. And I really believe that um, in training you would see a move, and even if you're not sure about it, you wouldn't stress so much about it. And when you get there, you find that nine times out of ten you pull it off pretty well anyway. So I think it's over the years you have to learn to trust your body that even if your mind can't quite see the move. Sometimes you have to just say, okay, stop stressing about it. When you get there, it'll work out. And most of the time it does. I, I believe that at, at some point you have to kind of disconnect yourself from, from the outcome of what you're doing. Because everyone's racing for their best performance. But really you have no control over that beyond the strokes you can take or the process that you can get into. Uh, right at the start. Um, I basically try and have nothing running through my head, just as clear as clear as I can be. Um, sometimes I'll joke with the starter if I feel like I'm maybe a little too nervous to kind of settle myself, or I have a sort of a, a calming exercise, some breathing, and some you know a couple key words that I'll sort of say to myself before in the start to calm down and lower my heart rate and get in the right the right frame of mind for for how I need to be for the race. Yeah. I try to to brace very you know very good clearly and just this. I try to yeah to, to concentrate on this. And to you know all the mental here. And not touch. <laughs> so once I get into the start gate for me I just try and decompress, relax, make sure I have all my faculties about you, about me. I do a little bit of a body check to make sure I don't have any sort of residual tension or as little as possible. You're going to be nervous. It's racing. That's the way it goes. It is normal 
that you are afraid of taking the competition, but the main fact is that all other people are afraid too. I just focus on the first two, three gates, that's it, and just self-talking, like the keywords you need to do, because it's like you're always on a different level on the start time. Sometimes you're nervous, sometimes you're tired, and you always have to not work against it, but like support yourself. So you have the right feeling you're ready to race. So just I think self-talking helps a lot in this. Yeah, everything is in your memory, and I, you ha I, I like to use it like that, not to think about what I have to do. Because if I am thinking about what I have to do in front of me, uh, I'm not really good uh, with what I'm doing at that moment. Mm -hmm. So if you would try to anticipate too much and think about what you have to do, you're late. I'm just trying to not to think and to just to pattern. When I finally started, I don't think, I just go uh, gate by gate and I do what I wanted to do and I try to be on the line and if I'm a little bit offline or something, I try to get online again. Write the strategy before, after it's going. Yeah. Not uh, all the time, if it's put right, put left, put left. no. You have a uh, two or six uh, combination, very important. You know, maybe speed, control, speed, control. Every course is uh, different, but uh, after it's going. Yeah. You can, you computer, you play, push enter, it's going. When I'm racing, I don't think of anything. Uh, I just do it automatically and that's, that's it. I think as soon as you start thinking, you you just slow to do the right moves. Um, with all your training, you just get used to to react and just to um, uh, put things together that you tried before in a run. You just have to have everything on hand. You you trained, and there's not much thinking actually. There's some bits and pieces where you, where you really know. Okay, I want to be at that place in this position, and the rest within between just comes by itself. You must, you should not be tense, you must be loose when you do a good run and when you want to win. I find I'm in the moment and I can tell you what I think about. Yeah. Sometimes I get distracted and usually that's on a bad run. <laughs> and uh, and um, I, those problems either tend to be analysing what I've done so far in the race in terms of if, even if it was really good, I start thinking, gosh, I'm on a good run, I better hold it together, and then I'm out of the moment and, and not really doing what I should be doing. Or if it's been bad, I'll start thinking, oh, how much time have I lost? I need to make that up now. And again, ideally, I want to just be in the moment, focusing on the next gate or move coming up. You definitely stay in the moment, stay in that present moment. Uh, I think a problem that I've had in the past would be during a run that you might analyse and you might even compare, and it's amazing, you know, you're on that run on 90 seconds, and it's so complex, your, your mind, that the things that can go through your brain in between gates, it's, it's kind of frightening when you get to the end, you, you think, why was I thinking about that? And you, you find yourself that you'd be analysing one run versus the last run on your run, and that's not the time to do it, obviously, focusing on the gate in front of me and that next combination, not on the touch I might have taken or the time I might have lost behind me, and not on jumping ahead as well. That's another thing that I've had to work on that. You might be on gate 18 out of 23, and you know it's going well, not to jump ahead to the finish and think, you know, if I could finish this, this is gonna put me in the final, or it's gonna do whatever it's gonna do. And that's a very important thing for me, is to stay in that present moment of the run.